in this line, reversal of pendulum. If we pull the pendulum horizontally, we will lead out gravitational energy. In the middle, we have an unbalanced wheel. This unbalanced wheel is produced by attaching a small weight at the wheel. When we pull the weight to one side, it will swing back just like a pendulum. For a pendulum, we can only have swinging or oscillating motions. With the unbalanced wheel, we can have 360 degree rotation. In the 17th century, a German watchmaker Bessler produced a 16th fit wheel. When he pulled it, the wheel rotated for 90 days. Unfortunately, nobody invested in his invention, and he destroyed the wheel. His secret was buried for over 300 years. Now, we believe we know how to recreate this wheel. We can put two tubes in the wheel. Inside the tube is a ball and two surfaces. One surface is a hard surface, the other one is a soft surface. When the wheel is started, both balls will fall down. The black ball will hit the hard surface. The red ball will hit the soft surface. The black ball will generate a stronger force if the striking or pulsing frequency is correct. The wheel will rotate for a very long time. We lead out gravitational energy is enough to overcome the frictional losses.